Hey guys, so a while ago I did a video about this called a game called Validate and how stupid it was. And I'm bringing this up now because one of my subscribers left me a comment saying, Hey, I found a girl who, you know, played the demo of the game. And it's just a demo. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm not going to pay for the full goddamn thing. Um, because it's fucking ridiculous. But he's like, yeah, it's exactly pretty much how you said it would be. Um, <clears throat> so I downloaded, and this is the little readme that comes with it. And then we have, down here, we have programmers. Lisa, she, they. Adrian, he, him. Kevin, he, him. So you can tell just from the, uh, just read me that this is going to be crap because the fucking programmers, they all had their fucking pronouns in there. So I'm not too confident and I'm probably going to be making fun like crazy, but we're going to go ahead and, um, so as you can see here, I did download it. This was the README right here. And we're going to play. Got to bring it over. The sunshine. Okay. Hang on. Let me make myself smaller. No, not disappear, but just smaller. We all can see my reactions to shit. That should be good. I think. Hurry, along, hurry yourself along. You duck into a hair salon. Your friend pointed out you toward, pointed you towards, and the warmth of a space heater fills your body the moment you step in. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. The room is dark. All lights pointed toward the area in the far back. That sort of looks like a makeshift stage. It's full of faces you've never seen before. They look so warm, yet so distraught. Did you just walk into a cult? If it's liberalism, then yes, you did. You decide to sit yourself in the corner, pulling out your phone to text one of your friends, hoping one can help you in your time of need. Who will you text? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um... I don't know how loud this is going to be on your side. Because for me, it's not that loud. Uh, no. Oh, can't do full screen. Won't let me do full screen on my second screen, of course. Why would it? Um, this is so fucking... Oh. Uh, anything else? No, oh, that's all. That's all, folks. Oh, God. Here we go. Mm. <sighs> now, what do what, what we... Demo for? Okay. Isabel Morgan. Like Spamilton before it was cool. No longer like Spamilton. Bitches be singing all the time wondering why people call them birds. So wait, we have to pick one of them? What the fuck is this? Urban planner, professional cosplayer. Oh god, fuck white people. Cosplaying akin is just wearing your everyday outfit. Marriage is a scam created by the government to make people rely on others. And yet, this is the person who relies on the government to help them through things. Claims romance instead. Yearns anyway. Calling people slurs on the internet isn't very gamer of you. Saying poggers to number. What is fucking poggers? Is this one like one of those new phrases fucking kids are saying? Because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Men stay in touch with the girls they, they never should have cheated on. And get mad when they file a restraining order. Trash ass mixtape. Kill your producer. Fuck. It's like a bunch of edgy fucking emo kids got together and made this. That's probably. I mean, honestly, that's kind of what 
these people are now. They're like fucking emo kids back in the 2000s. Nobody fucking understands. You're being so fucking oppressive. But fucking fuck capitalism, man. Oh, you don't understand my pain. Okay, so I guess we have to pick one of these fucking jackasses. Uh, which jackass shall it be? Well, I'm a dude. And it's not very diverse, because there's only one dude. Wait, is this? I don't know. He, him. Uh. <laughs> I have a feeling this person's gonna have a lot of, uh... Great dialogue, considering the little description is fuck white people. So we're gonna go with this piece of shit. Despite your usual atrocious level of FOMO, if there's some words here I don't understand, like FOMO, it's because it's probably a fucking liberal thing and they say to be cool. So please let's tell me below. You can't quite decide who to reach out to. While well, you're sure one of your cosplay buddies would be down to hang, or maybe your co-worker, something and you wants to talk to somebody new today. Maybe you'll head out of town for a bit to make a new friend. Or maybe you'll just try to get close with the casual queens. Oh my god, okay, I just had to check real fast on the other screen to make sure uh, you can read all of this. Not like it's worth reading. You've got a few, and their names are all on your phone screen, right in front of you. Him. No, you swipe down the list of it. Maybe them, but then again. Oh, what the hell. You click on the contact photo and send, and send. This can't possibly go wrong. Uh, so... Uh, sure. Pancakes and chill. Content warning, transphobia. I really wish this was like vodka or rum or something right now because I sure as hell fucking need it. You're on your lunch break from work and you already want to go home. Sure, you like your job. But planning is somewhat event planning is somewhat fulfilling to you, but so is your new card keeper. Card keeper Bakura Akura. Akura. Okay, so now I'm uh, I'm imagining Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh! Cosplaying is card keeper Sakura, or Sakura, as English American, you know, the Americans would say, which was a great show, by the way. Card, uh, you know, card captors. Um, that's what it was play on. It's card captors, uh, Sakura, or Sakura. Like I said, how it's supposed to be pronounced. It was a good show. I actually think they made a, a reboot of it. God captors a mystic invention. Yes, I did watch it. That's how I know it was cool. Uh, this, it was it was just go watch it. It's it's a pretty cool show. You're almost finished on it, and you want nothing more than to show it off with a photo shoot. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a big costume. A cosplay buddy of yours has already told you they were free this weekend. If you want to do it? You want it to be Saturday already? Your name is Anoki. Anoki? I love that pasta. Uh. Ohetika. Ohetika. Your name is Anoki Ohetika, and you wish that you were anywhere but here right now. You're definitely more invested in your professional cosplay compared to what's actually paying your rent. And you wonder how much longer you've been stuck between two jobs. For now, though. You can't think of you can't think about your passion versus your obligations right now. Maybe that's the whole point of being 22 and you're not digging it. Wow, they're nailing this fucking uh egotistical, narcissistic uh personality of these uh 20 somethings perfectly because that's how they are. They're they're doing this from experience. 
you just wish you could get out of get to the part of your life where everything has worked out for you so you can have some kind of break from the pressures you're always feeling that's called liberalism and that's called being a miserable person it's not life it's you you choose to be miserable like that you're pretty hungry and while you're trying to eat healthy all, most of the time Popeyes is looking awfully tempting right now. Is she like part black though? Yes, let's make someone who's part black go to a Popeyes, which is no doubt a chicken restaurant. A fried chicken. Just playing into the stereotypes that, you know. And they say the fucking right is racist. Like, the, like. Uh, you like most of the people you work with, but you can't help but get irritated when they aren't clear about what they want from you. You want, you might be the newbie, but that doesn't mean you have to go blind from everything. Anyways, enough bitching about work. Oh my god, thank god for that. I thought it would never end. You don't want the poor Popeyes and fuck employees to be see you looking so pissed off. Too late. You're a liberal. You always look pissed off. They're all, they already deal with enough. As you enter the restaurant, you give the menu uh, a cursory glance. A sandwich sounds good, and since this hype has died down, no one will try and kill you over it either. A win-win solution. Die. By the time you get to the register, you notice a pretty attractive looking boy down behind the counter. Attractive and oddly familiar. You're pretty sure you've seen him around, and you've been trying to bend to this Popeyes before. Oh god. Time for four voices. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Good. I like spicy chicken sandwich, please. Also, could I ask you something weird? Will you piss on my face? If you're going to ask him, it best be out of the way. Best to get it out of the way. The worst thing that could happen is him saying no. Can't be weirder than usual. Wait, I've seen you before. At least you know how you were. Wait. Oh wait. Okay, so yeah. So when it's just like the narration, it's not gonna have anything. Okay. At least you know. Now that you weren't tripping when you thought you met him. You're still surprised, though. You don't think of yourself as a very memorable person. I'm pretty sure if I was working a place and someone came and dressed like that, who looked like that, where I couldn't determine the gender, I'm pretty sure I'd remember them too. Really? Really? <sighs> I was at the new rap event. Uh, what was it called again? Oh. The up-and-coming rappers of the East Coast event. I was there for that. I must have seen you in the crowd. Or were you one of the performers? Nah, not this time. I have to wait till the next time for one of those. For sure. So you're a rapper? You're not the biggest fan of rap, but you like it enough. How long have we been recording? 13 minutes, Jesus fucking Christ. You're curious what his music sounds like. It sounds like shit. That's what it sounds like. Sure am. Pretty damn good at it, too. If you got one of my mixtapes, you'd know. He sounds like one of those assholes who just dropped it, you know. Like, I've got a mixtape. Who fucking cares? Uh, wait. Is, is passing this idea? Why? <coughs> sure. Are you sure that passing out mixtapes is the best idea? I mean, how do you guarantee some people will listen to them? Because they're walking home with it in their hands, and he like peeks from behind the, the build, you know, business or building or whatever, and he's like... The guy's like... And he keeps staring, he's like... And the guy's... Yeah, this shit's banging. 
Ah. What? Hey man, this thing a be tripping. Oh shit. He looks really offended right now. Because of that? The fucking soft snowflake pussy? Well shit. You don't have to do me like that. Sorry, I didn't mean any harm by it. I... Do you want one? You take something from under the counter and place it in front of you. I've got the goods. It's one of his mixtapes. He quickly writes something down on it with a marker in his pocket before handing it to you. So, you're giving me one of your mixtapes now? That's right. I'm the manager here. I make my own rules. I don't know about that. There's a line for me behind me. Isn't it always customer first around these parts? Oh shit, really? I didn't notice. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess I have to come up with a way to walk back there then. I found a way around that. I got my number on the, that mixtape. You should hit me up if you ever want to chill. He, he is flirting with you. God. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. I'm a Noki, by the way. Matic, but the name tag says it all. That it does. Do you love Malik? You have no intention on texting him back. What a good person you are. Very loving and tolerant. Oh, God. I don't think I have the strength for this. Is there a save feature? Yeah, quick save. Okay, so... Who is Sophia? Find out on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. No, okay, so... If, if you guys want me, honestly, to play more of this, I will... But this is fucking annoying and pathetic. And it really, really sucks. So, I don't know. But, yeah. This is where I'm going to leave it. So, let's just quick save again to make sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm done. This fucking bullshit. Anyways, that's it for me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys know the drill. And I'll see you guys next time.